Welcome back to Theme Park Wizard, and today we have some awesome new photos from Bio Reconstruct on Twitter. I highly encourage you um follow him on Twitter. He has fantastic photos of all projects, uh, mostly in Florida, but also here in Southern California sometimes when he makes a trip out here. But I have some awesome new Velocicoaster video or photos for you, and lots and lots of raptors, so let's get straight on into it. Here's a close-up of the track and some of the, this is over the lake area where that barrel roll is, and this is where that rumored water feature is supposed to be, where those, um, you see those scaffolding over those concrete triangle pillars, it looks like, and that would be maybe a potential water feature that you'll be going, literally diving right into and diving right out to, probably a whole bunch of fog even would be enclosed in that water feature. So that'll be very, very interesting. I'm not too sure what that is, but I'll be very inter interested to see the completed project. And here is the top of the an aerial view of that area. As you can see, looks like even some like spotlights maybe will be on the top of each of the triangle concrete pillars there. But you'll definitely be diving right into something, and there's even a little sensor right there the coast will be going over to trigger some, again, probably fog effects. And a water and a water feature as you go dive in, dive out, and go right into that 540 degree helix right afterwards. As you can see, there's a, there'll be a walkway you can look at the you'll be able to view the coaster uh, as it goes over the barrel roll over the lake and through that kind of foggy water featurey element whatever it's intended to do. Yeah, that's a very curious element. Um, I'm not, if, let, let me know in the comments below if you think, if you know what the, the coaster is going to be doing there. Moving over into the phase one or the part one of the coaster, we have, again, more tremendous rock, rock work being built here. The cage element, the transition cage between going from the loading station to the raptor paddock and then back looks to be almost comp just about completely done by now um looks like they're adding some more uh some more uh, horizontal bars on there but other than that just completely done and there's just uh, tons and tons of scaffolding on a new rock work and track going in and out of everywhere this coaster would be absolutely beautiful and absolutely insane with its elements as you see right above the uh, credit sign there you can see the that there's a hill, and looks like the coaster just dives right into that rock work. Looks like it's just diving into an abyss. You don't even know where it's going. It's pretty insane. I really can't wait to an honor POV of this coaster in just a few months. Here is the fun part. Well, this whole, whole update should be fun, but here's the best part. As, as you can see, there looks like two static raptors right here. They could be animatronics, but I think to be six total raptors, uh, four of them animatronics and two are static ones, or maybe two animatronics and four static ones. But here are two raptors encircling you as you're racing through their paddock. It's one of the times that you're not really diving in and out of rock work, but when you're out of that rock work, again, you'll be faced with these raptors. And I wouldn't be surprised actually if one of these took a, like a lunge at you as you uh, moved or swiftly. Uh, moved through this section of the track and it looks like again the caging to the right that looks like where the train looks like there's a wrapped in plastic there a, a train or a section of the train that might I don't know if that's the maintenance bay or the return I think that's the return to the station and as we head on up over there's lots more raptors I think there's about four raptors in this picture if you pause the video or if you look really closely you can see the two that we see and then I think there's uh there's a couple uh scattered around the picture and I think again the last two will be in the raptor or the that cage as you come back in to the station. One is supposed to be chasing you as a distraction, then another one's gonna lunge at lun lunge out at you as you enter back to the station area. But look at that mountain thing. Like, wow, they just formed a whole mountain out of like nothing. That that's incredible. And it looks, it still has a decent amount of work to be done, a lot of scaffolding, but it just looks great. Um, so much so, you used to be able to see a home to track there. Now with all the mountains and all the rock work, 
you can't see, you can only see like barely any sections of track, which is absolutely incredible. And the last section here, this is just an overview, overview of what the entire coaster looks like. From the air, you can see our vantage point. There's an incredible whole coaster on the bottom, that green, uh, green cobra roll right there. And it looks fantastic on the skyline, absolutely fantastic. There's a beautiful coaster. The top hat is a nice element to have. On the other end of the lake, we have the cobra roll from the um, incredible whole coaster on the the entrance to the park. And then uh, that's a nice, the Jurassic coaster is a nice thing to have at the back of, of the park to add to that skyline. You kind of make a nice, beautiful, beautiful entrance statement view from the people entering the park from there. And again, you can see all those cages transferring from the raptor paddock section to the front and back into the station, as well as even some of the rock work from the mountain to the very far left of that Jurassic Coast, of the Velocicos there. Then, of course, you see the 540 degree helix all the way to the right with Hogwarts in the back. It just looks it's very, it mixes very interestingly, but it looks absolutely beautiful. But that's my quick Jurassic Park, or Jurassic or Velocity Coaster update. Um, let me know what you guys think of, of the, the coaster below in the uh, in the comments. Give this video a big thumbs up if you like these updates. If you want even more updates, stay tuned for the to the channel for some potential Halloween Horror Nights news. Um, coming as soon as maybe later today or even tomorrow, but definitely this week. And also. Some interesting news potentially on Wednesday from the OC Register here in Orange County, California, about maybe Disneyland. So think, uh, stay tuned for all of that. Subscribe below for constant updates. Turn the notification bell on because uh, things are getting exciting yet in the theme park world as we start to return to normal. And as always, have a fantastic day. This is hilarious. Every time it seems like I make a drastic or uh, velocity update. I have to add on to it because this news update last time was the one piece and this time was is because of poultry. That's right. Thanks to the Orlando Informer and at Coaster Spotting on Twitter, whose name is Alexander, he got some awesome pictures of a poultry, the first blog coaster poultry, or the first, as far as we know, public philosophy for poultry. So you have four pictures of this and you can go right up to his Twitter again at Coaster Spotting. Later on tonight, um, that he's gonna debate debut, but it's super super awesome. Look at this, and you can see the trains. You can kind of see there's the head, the front of the train, and it kind of looks like that early concept art that I shared. And I'll link that video up um in the right corner if you like to see it. The concept art, what it looks like. But the trains are like looks like some very tall seats and like very skinny trains, very tall seats. And there's only, it's probably going to be like, obviously, maybe four to five cars per train. So they're just using two trains per night, or two cars right now. And those wires, those are making sure it can clear all the rocks and the theming and the, the cage work um, as it goes to the track. And that's why the poultry test is very slow. It, it's just a, they get, it gets pulled by like a, like a lever or a crane. And it goes, it's very slow through the whole course of the track. Or maybe just like thematic elements. I don't know if they do a full picture of the top hat because I feel like that'd be a little bit difficult. But just do the thematic elements if you can make it through and rock work and the, the cages and the raptor paddocks and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, that's very, very exciting. That means when it clears, if it clears the pull through, which I'm sure it will, then actual testing on this attraction could start fairly fairly soon maybe even like next month i would say maybe mid to late october or early to mid october don't be surprised to see potential testing on this attraction um and that'd be awesome or at least the public unveiling of the trains and maybe then maybe then when we finally get testing on the attraction universal will finally confirm <laughs> the name velocicoaster one, they're even building a coaster themed to uh, Lost Rappers in this area, and maybe an, an opening day. It was rumored for spring 2021, but man, if they start testing now, maybe a little bit earlier, 
or maybe 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 spring 21 20 2021 still due to the pandemic and low visitation levels but i feel like in a completely normal time period i feel like this would have the chance of opening maybe even late this year or early very early next year like february but definitely should be on time for its spring 2021 opening if it's already doing pull through tests and i'm super excited just like Hagrid, that was so it was so cool to see Hagrid's testing at night and during the day for the first time. I cannot wait to see the Velocicoaster testing um, during the night time and the daytime. It'll be much easier to see this coaster testing because Hagrid's is going to have yeah, lots of theming. This coaster, of course, has lots of theming, but that has that massive top hat section in that wide open area along the lake. So you'll be able to see lots of lots of testing um, going on. And especially with the water elements and any kind of maybe the most source if they want to add that in there that'd be really really awesome so what do you guys think of this um the pull through testing follow me at theme park wizard on twitter and at coaster spotting on twitter but i'll for the full video of the pull through testing i'll share it as well and maybe let me know if you comments below. maybe i can maybe i'll do a reaction video or if it's long enough maybe i'll do like a reaction video just to see you know how it is in in motion but let me know what you guys think about this in the comments below subscribe for more theme park updates thank you guys for supporting me we're almost at 800 subscribers so oh, that's super exciting and uh yeah i'm excited to share more theme park updates with you so as always have a fantastic day